Renovation project at a Kansas City museum hit a snag in the last few days. This comes on the heels of someone who was fired that raised a lot of controversy. Amy Hawley uncovered the drama surrounding the taxpayer funded renovation project. Well, can you believe it? Somebody actually used to live here. This is Corinthian Hall, and you may know it as the Kansas City Museum, or some know it as the R.A. Long Mansion, a gorgeous old 30,000 square foot mansion that's at the center of a city controversy. The look up the staircase and those stained glass windows. Leslie Kaplan toured the mansion off of Gladstone Boulevard as a kid, and today she lives nearby. A mansion built by Lumber Baron R.A. Long in 1910. Its 70 rooms and 15 closets are adorned with gold plated hardware, ornate ceilings, and glass pane roofs. The money needs to start flowing. Problem is, the historic site, which houses many of Kansas City's precious artifacts, is only partially renovated. $10 million in city funds have already been used up, and it's estimated now it could take another 20 to $40 million to restore the mansion and museum, money the city doesn't entirely have. Someone needs to do the fundraising and get it completed. Ideas that have made a whole host of people involved emotional. The discussion got so heated, it's why insiders say the Union Station CEO, who operates it, fired the museum's director Friday. Well, we're not going to comment on on Christopher Leach and his situation. The museum wants to separate itself from Union Station so it can start its own massive fundraising campaign. But others have suggested it be turned into a community center or even shut down. So it's really the city's decision on do they want to renovate it to um, a historic house? Do they want to renovate it to uh, something that rotates artifacts from the collection. Kaplan says she just wants to make sure this Kansas City treasure stays open for the sake of her northeast neighborhood and for the sake of this city. That's what they've been trying to restore is all of that history so that people will see what it used to be like. Now, the museum's former director, Christopher Leach, also wouldn't say why he was fired, but told me today over the phone his heart is broken. Museum advisors say it is a major setback, another major setback for one of Kansas City's grand places. They say more details about the rift and the project's challenges could be revealed next week in an audit over how Union Station handles the city's museum money. In Northeast Kansas City, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.